Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie is a Don. I remain Shadow Fury 333, your host, and I've just got to say, thank God for solid state drives. Anyway, we are on a match between RAR and Snuggle Base on Icy Run, the, sorry, dual Icy Run, the best thing to come out of Icy Run, except possibly Tricy Run, which is also very good, but dual Icy Run, I quite like this map, or at least I quite like Tricy Run. Dual Icy Run, I've also kind of liked, but haven't gotten a chance to play enough. It's a pretty cool map, though. It has... It's all bot pathable, which I should point out because RAR is playing shield bots and Snugglebase is playing spiders. Also, the players, if you're not familiar, RAR is the commander player. RAR will be basically using this commander. They're the commander commander. They take the commander, they upgrade it to level 3 or 5 or whatever else, and they go hog wild. If you're playing against RAR, you should kill their commander as soon as possible. Because that will cripple them. Well, okay, they're not a bad player outside of the commander, but they love their commander. Snuggle Base, however, is the teacher. They're actually really cool because they have... They started a clan a little while ago that I'm part of to help people. Just generally help people get better at the game. And I really respect that. So yeah, Snuggle Base, the teacher versus Rar, the commander commander. So Snuggle Base on this map, they're going for spiders. As I was just saying, this is a more bot pathable map. So spiders, while they do have a slight advantage of speed on the more hilly sections, overall they have a disadvantage of speed, so it more evens out. The cool thing here is more that you have things like Recluse, which can fire over these hills and be fairly safe. Also, works well against shield balls. I found that out the hard way, but yeah, it works well against shield balls. And RAR is going to be going heavy on Thug. If it's anything like the game I was playing against them, they're going to be going pretty much Thug Bandit with a bit of Rogue later on, but primarily Thug Bandit. Recluses work beautifully against that. So far, Snuggle Base going for Venom. Pretty good choice. They stun out bandits quite well. I know I said last game that bandits survive two... Bandits do not survive two hits. Bandits get stunned on the first hit. And actually, two Venoms on a handful of bandits will wipe out the bandits. The difference is that bandits have slightly longer range than Glaives, so they have a bit of an easier time dealing with Venoms, or single Venoms. But it's still kind of hard. It's still uphill. If you're seeing Venoms, try not to attack with bandits. That's probably not going to go over well. Anyway, RAR, as you can see, very much focused on the commander. Has Thug and Bandit on guard order to the commander. I gotta say, this is kind of cute. Just the way the bandits are slowly moving. I don't know why, I just find it kind of cute. Ah, they're on... Are they on Circle Guard? No, they're not. Rar has their commander taken point, interestingly enough. And Snuggle Base looks like they're about to attack. Actually, Snuggle Base, I don't think they know. Oh, they do! They have radar. They do, in fact, know where Rar is. They should. I mean, they are playing spiders. Spider is all about having knowledge. That is the spider thing. If you're playing Spider Factory, you want to have fleas everywhere to know where your opponent is, and you want to just have radar everywhere, or use, use the Worker for Radar as well. Worker for Radar is great. That's one of the nice things about playing Spiderbot Factory is that you don't need as many radars because all of your workers, they're all mobile radars. It's great. And Snuggle Base right now, they are kind of getting away with the naked expansion. RAR being considerably more defensive, but even then they're also kind of naked. Building out metal extractors, they have a bit less to worry about, but they still have fleas to worry about. There's actually a flea right here. Snuggle Base is not totally aware of this. Oh, they are! Ooh, they are! They might actually notice this and go for it. That metal extractor is totally vulnerable. And now we have the first engagement. Snuggle Base coming in here with a couple of Venoms. And the Recluses. There we go. They have the Recluses out already. And neither player building a lot, which is rather surprising. Rar, Not even upgrading the commander. Both their factories are idle. This is... Odd. But the first engagement is going... There we go, there we go. Snuggle Base going for that metal extractor. The first engagement as well going quite well for Snuggle Base here in the center. RAR now upgrading their commander. Doesn't have a whole lot of energy with which to do so, though. Actually, very low on power plants. And RAR's commander getting... Well, getting a bit threatened here. Getting pretty heavily threatened, actually. It's not even at level 1 yet. Just... There we go. Now it's finally at level 1. Rocket launcher, naturally given the name. But Rar really needs to retreat right now. I mean, Snuggle Base... 
Snuggle Base is in a very strong position to the north. They basically have the north. And Rar taking back partially their own base, their own western side. But yeah, they can't really expand naked, whereas Snuggle Base hasn't been attacked yet. They're, they have a few defenses around, but overall, Rar could do a bit of harassment here. Snuggle Base can't easily because Fleas don't get through pretty much any defenses. But yeah, neither player expanding a huge amount. There we go. Rar now getting the two metal extractors that are kind of center west. Like near center west. The far center west one. This convict has gone idle. Snuggle Base continuing to build up to the north. Not really building up the south. It appears they're a little bit cautious. A little bit concerned about the fact that Rar does have units to the south. Snuggle Base getting up a bunch of fleas for what looks like probably another scouting expedition. Are they... No way. This is too many fleas. They're going to be assaulting something. I don't know. Uh, no, no, no. With fleas, you spread them out. You don't you don't assault with fleas. You spread them out unless your opponent is going very heavy on the skirmishers, which Rar is not. They don't even have any rogues yet. That's not a problem. Snuggle base continuing to set up. They have... Oh, are they moving forward? Recluse Venom. They have some hermits coming in here as well. And this is a nice bit of recluse food. Okay, the fleas are seeing what they can do. They're trying to find holes. But overall, it's just Snuggle Base continuing to ensure that they know exactly what's going on. And overall, they pretty well do. Another assault coming in from Snuggle Base. We have four Venoms, and the Recluse is probably the biggest thing here. The Outlaws are going to be a pain in the butt for the Venoms. They should be able to stun through it. I think two or three will die, but that should be enough to stun through. Rar's Commander up to level two already with shields on top of everything else. So that works nicely. Good synergy there. How many more shields are coming, though? There are a bunch of convicts, no thugs. Snuggle Base continuing to build up while Rar is starting to excess. Just now getting more power plants, but still starting to excess, and the commander upgrading once again. This is what I was talking about. Snuggle Base... Ooh, a redback on top of that. So redback and recluse... I th Not sure how well one redback will work here. A bunch of redbacks would be fairly effective. The important thing, though, is more recluses. Though you can't just gather them right back. I mean, if anything gets stunned out, that redback will tear it to shreds. So yeah, Recluse for initial support, Venom for control and stun, redback to rip things to shreds, and Hermits to make sure that as little as possible dies on the spider side. Just a tank shot, basically. This is not a bad mix, although it looks like the redback's holding back. So it's, ignore everything I said about the redback right now, because that is not what's attacking. And we do have Rogues. Well, rogue, singular. No fleas have to deal with this. Snuggle base right now, they have so much of the map. So much of the map. Rar's just now gotten the power they need. I mean, right now, they're basically investing everything in the commander. Which, that's what I said they would do. I mean, that's that's the thing that Rar does. And it's kind of tricky. This game does not work especially well with commanders, but Rar loves making super powerful commanders. Like, just having the most powerful commander... But when you have this many Venoms... I mean, the commander could have a lot of health, though. Well, 3,000 health so far. I mean, it's going to have to have a lot of a blade of plating in order to be able to last through those Venoms. Because we saw before, Venoms deal 600 paralysis damage. Four Venoms would two-shot this commander right now. Well, two-shot stun. Even with a blade of plating... I mean, okay, I'd have to go through the shields, but even with a blade of plating... It would still be like two... It's like three shots, I guess. And Snuggle Base... Snuggle Base pulling the Commander thing off better than Rar is. Wow. That must be insulting to Rar right now. I mean, Snuggle... Well, back when this game was played. Snuggle Base is... Like, Snuggle Base is a level four Commander on top of this army, on top of having most of the map under their control, and Rar's Commander just now got to level three, does not actually have... Okay, has drones, has more range... Doesn't have much in the way of health, though, so the Venoms can still deal with it fairly effectively. And Snuggle Base's commander about to get to level 5 on top of the army. This is painful. And Snuggle Base with the hill defense turrets. Ouch. I mean, they're not going to do a huge amount of damage. It's mostly against the drones. But still, that is a pain. Nice flank, too, from Snuggle Base from the south of the Spider Army. The Venoms, however, taking a lot of damage from, the, from Rar's commander. This is kind of where the Hermits need to come in, because the Hermits are the thing that actually is supposed to tank everything. But hey, even then, Snuggle Base's commander 
able to deal quite a bit of damage. Recon Commander. Recon Commander stronger than a Strike Commander. That's what we're seeing right now. Actually, what doesn't have an upgrade set? Okay, some armor plates. A bunch of nano... Oh, wow! A bunch of nanolades. What is its build power? Oh, 45 build power. Holy crap. That can use the entirety of Snuggle Base's resources right now to build anything. Snuggle Base is darn near in cheat mode. When it comes to how much build power they have in that commander. They can basically build whatever they want nearly instantly. They can build a factory here in 10 seconds. Well, okay, they need more resources to do so. 20 seconds, given that 30 metal is pretty constant. Unfortunately, all the Venom's knocked down, so Rar has a way of getting back in here. These outlaws should be able to push in, kind of forcing Snuggle Base back, but unfortunately the Recluses still deal... They're dealing enough damage that it's not that easy. And there is more Venom's coming in. There's four more Venom's coming in as reinforcements. Once those get in, I'm pretty sure that's where Snuggle Base will go in for the final push. And Lotus is for attack over to the north side. Looks like Snuggle Base doesn't have any other workers to the... Sorry, Rar doesn't have any other workers to the north. So Snuggle Base can kind of get away with just pushing forward to the north side. Venoms are in. We should see possibly the final attack of the game, or at least Snuggle Base's final, hopefully for them, final push. Although at this point, Rar doesn't have a whole lot to work with. Just now at level 4, finally getting... No, not even finally getting armor. More drones, more targeting systems. They want range, they want drones, they want to not be in direct combat. And Snuggle Base just isn't having that. Not at all. Not letting the drones get away and basically just, okay, if the commander's not going to deal with me, I'm just going to go past them. They're going to deal with me, I'm going to stun them out, and the Venoms will have no problem doing so. Because really, as soon as the Venoms get anywhere near in range of Rar's commander, now well, three Venoms, that'll take three shots, I think. No. Yeah, three shots. Yeah, 1,800 times three. Yeah, 5,400, which would be enough. So yeah, Rar's commander in a very precarious position, but I think Snuggle Base right now... They're probably disappointed they wouldn't manage to get through there. However, falling back, rather wise to do so, waiting for reinforcements, get that reinforcement set up, and then push back in. How many recluses are there? Ten recluses already. Well, right here there's like eight. Nine. Excuse me. <coughs> Nine recluses already. At this point, Rar... They... I would almost recommend bandits if it weren't for the Venoms. Although at this point, with ten metal per second, Rar... Building anything is going to be tough. And Rar's commander... Ooh, not quite getting stunned out. The drone's taking the hits. Giving Rar a bit of a chance to push back. But yeah, bandits wouldn't be a bad idea. Racketeers wouldn't really work well enough, unfortunately. Although that that might be... That's tempting. That's one of those things you go, Ooh, maybe. Maybe I could go for racketeers. That might just do the trick. Ah, uh, it's tempting. I don't think they're going for that, though. Going for Thug Law. Still going for pure Thug Law. Ooh, double... Oh, is this gonna... Ouch. How much damage is that? 720 damage a shot? Yeah, it's not too hard to get rid of that commander with. But even then, Rar's commander must be careful. He's gonna have a... Oh, hard time not overkilling things. Very hard time not overkilling things. And this is the final push. Snuggle Base going for it. Are they, are they not going for it? Again, they just want to get that commander. If they get that commander down, I'm pretty sure Rar will capitulate. Because that's all their money. They have so much money invested in that commander. But every time every time Snuggle Base loses their Venoms, they're forced back somewhat. Just because they can't easily stun things out. Although, what's all the Recluses? Hmm, I don't know. The Venoms do help a lot. But it looks like Snuggle Base isn't even getting more. They're done with Venoms. They're just going to go pure Hermit Reckless, and I, I can see that. However, as chat's kind of pointing out, this is where Crabs come in. I mean, you can't actually win with a lot of Hermits, but Crabs will seal the deal. But I think what's happening is Snuggle Base just is using their commander as if it was a Crab. Their commander is kind of their endgame unit here. Rar's commander still holding strong. I mean, that's the thing. They do have a very high weight unit. Rar does have a very high weight unit here. High weight unit with a lot of auto repair. I mean, it's... Well, okay, not a lot of auto repair, but enough auto repair for it to still be a threat. And the battle drones are free. So, I mean, they don't have to worry about that too much. They just need to build up as many units as possible. It's the rest of the army getting rid of that. They don't have splash damage in their commander. 
That was like double machine gun or double shotgun to be a lot easier for this, but then again, they're going for range, not tankiness. And that, that Razor. I mean, those drones are free, sure, but they're not doing too much good. Uh, what just died? Ah, a bunch of weavers trying to build defenses. And Rar's commander actually getting a, a bit of a break. Rar's actually able to get out of this somewhat. So Nongo Bay's not able to push this assault too far longer. I mean, they're pushing in reinforcements, but they're starting to get pushed back. The commander actually presenting a bit of a problem. I mean, the, forces, the attrition on these forces is actually becoming an issue. Like, Rar's commander, just the auto repair in Rar's commander is keeping it alive long enough. Venoms wouldn't actually be a bad idea here just to stop Rar's commander from doing anything so that the rest of the units can get in some hits. But it looks like, no, Snugglebase is allowing Rar to play, which is not working out. I mean, like I said, Rar is still way behind economically, but they're not... They're still holding out. They're having a hard time getting destroyed. Snugglebase is having a hard time getting through this. I mean... This is just hard. This is just... I mean, Rar... I'm kind of surprised Rar is even still in this. But, I mean, they're managing to hold on. And Snugglebase's commander can't approach, because Rar's commander just... It's not that much tougher, but the auto repair is really causing problems. Snugglebase's commander does not have an auto repair module at all. It has armor. It can resurrect, which actually I haven't seen it do much. Well, heard more. Resurrection is a very distinctive sound to it. So... If it happened, we'd have heard it. But it looks like at this point, Snuggleby is finally getting in far enough that Rar, even if their commander stays alive, the rest of their base is destroyed, and they have very little economy to work with. And have this one metal extractor, actually two metal extractors plus the commander, that's giving them their ten. Which is actually kind of surprising. That should only give them eight. Where are they getting other stuff from? Oh, it's plus two point one, that's why. Okay. Yeah, so a little bit of overdrive, and there's the factory down. Factory's down, Rar's commander, probably soon to follow. I mean, impressive valiant effort to stay in there for the commander. And Venoms would have helped a lot to just stop this early, but Rar's commander about to go down, and that is going to be game once the Rar's commander goes down. I mean, I wasn't wrong, I just expected that to happen far sooner. And I think at this point, Rar is gonna GG. There we go. Okay, well, not even GG, just rage quit. But still, that's game. That was that was Rar doing commander stuff. Because Rar does commander stuff. That is what Rar does. Next game, however, will not involve Rar. It will be Clone versus Orphilius on Geyser Plains. It'll be a bit shorter, and it'll involve top ten players. Yay! Well, actually, okay, this one had snuggle base. And Rar's well. Okay, the 1774. But yeah. Clone vs. Orphelius on Geyser Plains is coming up next, so stay tuned.